how's it going everybody Enzyme here uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, a few things about flying a helicopter that I found that a lot of people I guess don't know or they have a lot of trouble with um, so we'll start off with as you can see here we've got the tail rotor shot out so I'm going to show you how you how you fly and land without a tail rotor um, first off I'm already flying here so let me just slow down um, you can see that once you have forward momentum uh, it almost flies like like normal um, the problem people have um, if they're taking off with the tail rotor shot out or I mean, they're just flying at a low speed a lot of times this is what you're going to run into here once we slow down all right so you go into an uncontrollable spin and this is where a lot of people crash. Uh, the objective here is to get some forward momentum going. And the way that you do that, well, there's two methods. One of them I call like the rock and roll method. And that's where you just rock and roll the chopper until it kind of shoots off in one direction. I don't even, there we go. Just like that. All right. But I find that that's kind of difficult. Um, there's a lot, there's a much simpler way to do it and that is let me get into a spin again alright so we're out of control again so all you do is once you're up at a reasonable height which we already are I'd say 100 to 200 meters would be fine um, you just throttle down and when you throttle down you'll notice that the spinning is not nearly as bad so you take that opportunity right there to just pitch the nose forward Whoop! I didn't do it quick enough let's try that again alright so we're out of control throttle down pitch the nose there we go I find that that's much easier and right, once you've got some forward momentum you can fly just like normal now when you're coming in for a landing you have a very small window when you're throttling down that the the spinning is not that bad and that's the time that you need to close the distance to the ground okay so you need to pick a spot that is um, open uh, flat that you can safely land at so here we'll see I've just got the airstrip marked so <clears throat> or 3k out you want to approach it as low as possible um, because like I said the the window that you have to land before the spinning gets out of control again is um, it's a small window so I've got that location picked and you want to keep keep your forward momentum because that's what's going to keep you from spinning So just approach it as low as you safely can and you're going to want to start bleeding off speed I'd say about a click click and a half out and um, just close that gap up here we go some FPS drop there I'm having some trouble with my fraps alright so click and a half out I'm going to start I'll throttle down a little bit tilt back bleed some speed not too much because you don't want to start spinning Alright, probably should have came at it straight on, but this will work. So I'm throttling down a little more, trying to get low. You can do a slight rolling landing, but you don't want to, and you want to avoid going sideways like I'm kind of doing. Whoop. That's what you don't want to do. Made it down safely, but uh, kind of I came at it at a bad angle. But now let's try it again. Actually, since I don't have a buddy on to shoot my engine out, I was going to show you something else. And uh, since somebody can't shoot my engine out, I need to let that fuel leak out till just before. And then I'm going to show you how to land a chopper safely with no engine power. So let's say somebody shoots out your main rotor. Or your engine. 
All right, enzyme. Repair it just before it runs out. Oh, it refuels it. Fuck. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just have to show you that. I'll just have to re-record this with a buddy online. Well, let's try the uh, no-tail rotor landing one more time so I can show you how it's supposed to be done. I can kind of show you how uh, you would land with no tail rotor, or I'm sorry, no engine power uh, by just shutting the engine off. But it's not going to fully represent what it would be like with no engine power because when I throw the throttle up, it's going to automatically start the uh, engine again. But you can get the gist of it, and hopefully, I can get a buddy on here and uh, shoot my engine out. This would be a good representation here of uh, how you would take off and uh, start going with no tail rotor from a from a dead stop. So we're at 150. Let's go to 200. Try not to get dizzy. All right, so we're up to 200 meters. So I'm gonna throttle down and pitch forward. Well, this mohawk is rough. But that should be it right there. Come on, nice. So that was kind of a, that was kind of a mixture of the two methods, but it worked. I probably should have picked a, a slightly smaller chopper. All right, let's try this again. It's already starting to want to drift. Alright, so here's my window. Got that speed blood off. There. Much better. No other damage. And we're safely down. So, enzyme repair. All right, so I can kind of show you how you would land with no engine power. It's a technique called auto rotation, and it's fairly simple. Um, it makes sense, I guess, if you didn't if you didn't know about it. Um, once you once somebody explains how it works, it makes sense. Um, but the the, um, the gist of it is. Whenever you lose engine power, you start to fall down towards the earth. Well, as you're falling, you have air that is being passed upwards through the blades, and that air being passed up through the blades, um, that's potential energy being used that, that can be used by the, uh, by the rotors. So there is some stored energy in the blades and what you want to do is just before you hit the ground use that energy stored to provide just enough lift that you land softly or at least not hard enough to explode so the second you lose engine power the first thing you want to do is hold throttle down sound that part sounds very counterintuitive but that's what you need to do um, hold throttle down and when you're about, it varies depending on on the chopper and the situation, but anywhere from 10 to 25 meters above the ground, then you go full throttle up, and that will re use the remaining power left to provide a little bit of lift and hopefully land softly. Um, since nobody's here to shoot my engine out, 
the chopper is going to automatically start back up so it's not going to be exactly how it would happen with no engine power but it all works the same and another thing if you have forward momentum which most people will when they get their engine shot out you want to try to keep um, the nose uh, as level as possible you want to keep the chopper as level as possible and you want to make sure before you hit the ground that you don't have too much forward momentum you can do a s slight skid landing but you may have to bleed off speed so you might have to tilt back um, and you can do that as you're falling obviously if you get your engine shot out at 500 meters altitude you've got a lot more time to react than if you get it shot out at 100 meters altitude but so here's how it goes I'll show you so the engine shot out I'm gonna right now just start holding throttle down and you'll kinda hear that the chopper sounds like it's still running I've got my volume kinda turned down so I can hear myself I'll show this to you again with some forward momentum but you'll notice that you, you, you fall rather slow a nice controlled descent And even just this, honestly, if I don't throttle up at the end, is probably slow enough that you can just set it down without throttling up. But just to be safe, since you have that stored energy, you might as well use it. So right here, throttle up. Oop. Okay, so it'd be a little bit higher for these big choppers. But you see we didn't blow up. So let's try it one more time with some forward momentum. Actually, let me see if I can do this. See if I can do it quick enough. I probably won't be able to time this very well. See if I can repair it with just a little bit of fuel left. Unfortunately, jerry cans are not in the spawn menu. Let's do it here. Oh, come on. Hopefully that worked. Ooh, nice. All right. Yeah, there's no, there's no jerry cans in the spawn menu, and I don't have one. This is just the test server. I'm sure if I try to run around and look for one, it'd take me an hour to find a jerry can, but... While I'm trying to bleed off this last amount of fuel, I'll show you how you would auto-rotate <clears throat> with um, some forward momentum. And I'll do it at a fairly low altitude, show you how you might want to react quickly. Um, in Arma 2, if any of you guys have done this in Arma 2, um, in Arma 2, they you, were, you could auto-rotate, but if you pitched your nose too far up, or too far down um, if you crossed I'm not sure exactly how many degrees it was but if you crossed a certain threshold of just a couple degrees up and down your chopper would fall like a rock there was no saving it um, so the second you lost engine power you had to level off your nose and that that uh, that kept you from being able to bleed like you know throw your nose back and bleed speed off if you needed to and uh, it was rather difficult and Arma 3 it's not so bad uh, they got it right for the most part so here we've got some speed and uh, say uh, 100 meters altitude so engine off so I'm throttling down I'm gonna start bleeding speed Tilt that nose up. And throttle up. Yeah, see, it kicks my engine back on, but that would be about, about the right height to do it. Seems like about 25 meters for the Mohawk. That's the gist of it. Let's see if I can not burning that fuel out very quick is it all right well 
I'm just gonna go into auto hover over here for a few minutes and I will continue the recording well oh, is it going I guess I better get up to an altitude maybe it'll run out here in just a second you know what I'm just gonna fly like normal show you how it might happen in a real situation not not something that's planned out oh, there it goes right there so start throttling down you know I can even uh, aim for the for the runway if I want I don't think I want to tilt that far well maybe no I don't think I'm gonna make it to the runway see some power lines up there I want to hit those tilt off to the right here you don't get a whole lot and you, know, you want to keep throttling down so you don't get a whole lot of room to, to maneuver but you, you got enough all right throttle up oh, not snap alignment but that's how it's done right there. Perfect example. Did no damage. Uh, we're safely down. And uh, I guess in a real situation, you'd have to repair your engine and likely fuel it back up if you've leaked out your fuel. But you're down safely. Uh, your whole crew's alive and hopefully got a chance to uh, defend yourselves and get back up in the air safely. So. There you have it. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any other suggestions, uh, something you'd like to see, whether it's in the chopper or just, uh, I guess, any general epoch questions, I've got quite a bit of playtime down and I've got control of a uh, test server so I can do things like this, um, spawn some things in, test. Um, anything you guys would like to see, just let me know and I'll see what I can get you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, um, comment, share it, whatever. I'm going to try to put out a lot of Arma 3 videos. My buddies and I have been playing quite a bit. I've got a lot of footage that I need to edit right now. Um, I went ahead and decided to record this one because I don't really have to do much editing. Just throw it up and that's it. So, All right, we'll see you guys soon with some more videos and have a good one. Two, one, two, one.